walk down on the key of A. A little bit more difficult when the left hand, there's a couple strange chords there, but. Let's look at this A. First of all, again, you pick the, the voicing that works for the situation. So instead of having to play the A like this, I'm just doing a bar because I know my next chord is going to be this E over G sharp, which is not an easy chord to play. So I'm going to, all these guys are ready. They're prepared. They're like, okay, put me in, coach. I'm ready. So here's A, and then they like jump on their guy. So boom. So A, E over G sharp, F sharp minor, seven. Bam. Again, you could just kind of work on this. And I don't know, I just feel like you could do the walk down. You could do the finger picking thing, but you know, kind of like, uh, draw me close to you. And then it's, lay it all down again. Um, here you say that I'm your friend. That's when I use this kind of walk down often. Or in the song, I shout to the Lord, my Jesus. Um, mm -hmm, a lot of these chords. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But just for fun, just to get a little more rhythm, let's look at our right hand again. We're going to do that, that kind of uh, plucking or claw technique. And it's like... Kind of emulating the snare drum again, or like a djembe, maybe, you know, like. So, just hitting the strings and muting with my left hand, so. Bah. It's kind of a good back porch kind of vibe. You know, on the back porch with a good tall glass of iced tea. Yeah, 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 yeah. Looking up at the sky, Lord, I lift your name on high. Yeah, 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 yeah. So just kind of noodle around with that for a little bit. And then we keep walking down with the A over E to a D. Hmm. A over C sharp, which we did in the key of D. Hmm. There's our four over five chord. In this case, it's a B minor seven over E. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Four, walk down to five and one, walking down to the six. One, four, mm, three, two, four over five, back to one. So it's a little bit more challenging, but definitely useful, especially this shape right here. As hard as that is, that E over G sharp, it's a movable shape, so it's worth getting familiar with it because you can move it around. If you're in a key of F, you can go like, hmm. It's like da 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 da. If you don't have time to put your capo on, you can you can use that. Or if you're in the key of G, da, 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 instead of going to that voicing, you go. It's a one chord over the third in the bass voicing. So when in doubt, you can always pull that out. A, it rhymes. And then let's come back.